Hello, my name is Shadley, and welcome back for another episode of Victoria 3 as Korea. Uh, in previous episode, near the end, uh, Heavenly Kingdom is having a, yet another revolt there, which is hopefully going to start reducing the GDP a bit further and allowing us to catch up to them. But we need to have the market kind of in peace, so there's uh, a lot of um, people to buy our products, essentially, so that everything is going to be more profitable. Right now, there's a bit of lack of uh, input goods, uh, especially... Well, the Steelman is having some problems with profitability because there's a lot of steel production that we do which is hindering some other things of course but it looks like the revolt is already mostly dealt with i mean admittedly they did get help from uh who was it russia or at least usa and austria hungary right okay and of course tibet so they get a lot of uh, support from various nations but in the market right now we are currently 50 almost 16 percent of the market share which is uh, probably more than anyone else after Heavenly Kingdom itself, of course. Yeah, no, we're just the second largest right now. Of course, uh, that might change soon enough. We do have a bit of lack of um, access, though, in here. Is that because of um, shipping route through? Oh, yeah, yeah. So the Heavenly Kingdom has a problem so supplying all of this, and we are land connected to that area. That makes sense. So right now, we're still losing a lot of money, and we are, uh, yeah, we're back to 5 million in credit again. That's not great. We're about to complete the port, though, in a few weeks. Also getting the procussion cap. Hopefully that is going to be another industry that we'll be building on and maybe making a whole lot of money off from it. If we do have a look at the goods, though, so the Manor Wars price has gone up a lot. Uh, the engine price is increasing quite drastically as well, so we might be... Able, well, the private sector might be doing a bit more construction work on that. But I'm pretty sure that as soon as the war is over... Oh, we've got a lot of bureaucracy right now. We could, in fact, go ahead and increase... No, we can't increase any of these. We need to have... Oh, we need, like, 10 more bureaucracy. All right, then. So there we go. We got the port done. And that is now... Okay, we're still losing £2,000 per week. Well, uh, the private sector has now taken over all the construction, so there's a bit of iron mines. There's going to be another explosive factory, this time in the northwest. It's probably not a bad idea to have one in there, because there's a whole lot of mining in here. So if we can get some more, more cheaper explosives in there, then that's honestly not a bad idea. And we've got to... Okay, in about a week or so, we'll be getting the percussion cap. And looks like the revolt is mostly dealt with. I mean, there's still a little bit more pockets over here. Oh, there we go. Procussion cap done. And now we're working on the rotor valve engine. The society... Right, they're working on the nationalism. That could be quite handy for the extra authority, to be fair. So we'll maybe queue that one up after the rotor valve engine. And after that, we'll work on more construction things in here, or production uh, upgrades in here. Uh, we did also get the right so this tanker cars for oil rigs we don't have any oil rigs uh steam trains for railways passengers um are still passenger carriers for railways but it doesn't actually unlock anything else directly this one does unlock um rotor valve engines for a lot of things but we don't use them too much yet but i'm guessing the revolt is about to be over yeah the minus six right now um war support so i suspect that they will probably Take that piece deal soon. And then that's going to fix the market at least to some degree again. I wonder how much uh, GDP we're going to have after that. We dropped from like 28 million. Oh, credit where credit's due. We shall credit the industrialists. It's losing a decent bit of money in there. I mean, we're now paying more interest than we're paying for the diplomacy packs again. That's unfortunate, but I think we can start improving the situation sooner. Oh, the war ended. There we go. So now we're making a bit more money. I'm sure that the GDP is going to be increasing... Fairly rapidly now again. But how is the GDP on the Heavenly Kingdom? It is 175. So they did drop a little bit in there. But they did manage to grow quite a bit between the previous two revolutions there. But there we go. Now we're getting a £3,000 per week. I'm sure that that is actually probably still going to keep on increasing further and further. Because I suspect that the market access is now fixed again. Yeah, it is. Oh. Oh. Russia tries from France. Hold on a bit. What is this one? Right. Conquer Tohoku. They want to get the northern half over there. Okay. Uh, so there's Russia and France versus Japan and Heavenly Kingdom. Oh, Dutch is India sides with Japan. Okay. Egypt sides with Japan. I think the enemy side is going to have a lot better quality troops, of course. But they need to land into Japan or they need to fight land war against China. I think China is going to be quite busy with that. At least it's not going to break up the market as such. So I think the 
the sort of external wars is going to be probably better for our market. Now, we're not necessarily going to be in the war directly ourselves, which is going to be quite handy. Now, we're making up almost £9,000 per week again, and GDP is almost back to £28 million. I do actually wonder, so how is Heavenly Kingdom's GDP? is 177 so it did recover at least a little bit. They got a literal rate of 25%. We've got 41. Oh, we're getting two explosive factories. Right, we're getting both of them in here, actually. Well, I mean, that's good that we need a whole lot of explosives in there. And then we've got the tobacco plantation, tooling workshop, and a few other things. But now we're paying off the loans a decent chunk. We'll probably try to get at least below 10 million. Maybe even less than that. In there before we start uh, increasing stuff there again. Uh, the standard living is, did drop quite a bit due to the revolution and all that. That was happening in China. So that w was a bit of a problem. I do wonder. So there's the Russians. We could maybe support them directly. Uh, there's not much uh, we can do. I mean, we've got only 32 battalions anyway. Let's uh, lean towards Japan at least. We were used to, or we used to be allies to them. I don't know if there's much they can do about that. Like, maybe I could help a little bit with the fighting in here somewhere. I'm not entirely sure where exactly we'd be doing it. We only got one ship as well, so it's not really much of a fleet. But there we go. The interest rate is dropping fairly quickly. If we can just pay off some of the loans. Right, the trades with France and uh, Russia are now done for. Oh, it's Japan. Right, they've started the fighting. Uh, we... Oh, we don't have the alliance with them anymore. So, I don't know. I suppose there is going to be fighting in here, isn't there? Uh, yeah, I suppose there is. Can't see a lot of the fighting happening yet. I do wonder who's going to be winning. Oh, actually, let's have a look at the war. There's a battle going up here. Where... Oh, our side is attacking... Well, I say our side, but the... Let's just say the Asian side is attacking the European... Uh, foes, and they didn't have a lot of uh, strength in there yet. The enemy side, so the Russians are actually going to get pushed back over there. I wonder how many other battles... Oh, they already conquered some of that and that. So why is the peace deal or potential peace deals in here? So return typing Tomsk. All right, then. Uh, conquer Tohoku and transfer Hejaz from Egypt. And it's only war reparation. Okay, so it's just, you know, helping a fellow nation in here, I suppose, for the typing but that is hopefully gonna keep their gdb somewhat lower i mean it's, okay it's 182 right now so it's not really that much lower but in such a way that it's not going to take too much away of the consumers away from here let's actually have a look at the market now so if we are we still have the number 15 i think or is it 13 somewhere around there anyway like not quite in the top 10 but we got a fairly strong uh, state here in young sale regardless and it's getting the explosive factories now which is Probably going to be fairly profitable in here. There's so many mines in the location that it's just... It's kind of a must thing at this point. We've got £13,000 uh, profit per week right now. And it's going to be going up and up. We're still paying 27000 per week for the diplomatic packs. A bit of subsidies as well. But subsidies are actually quite tiny in comparison. The construction cost has gone down quite a bit. It used to be like uh, somewhere around 40000 Now it's only 36000 more or less. And the investment pool is increasing by £11,000 per week. All right, then. But that's actually good to know. So if we get to, like, 18000 balance, we should be able to start contracting again uh, with half the capacity ourselves. Wouldn't be too bad. Rotor Revival Engine is going to be done in two weeks' time. How's the... War oh, yeah, no, the Russians are getting pushed back pretty heavily. At least in certain areas. It might not be everywhere, but, you yeah, know, that's, that's a lot of conquering done there. And I don't think they've... Well, they haven't done a landing over here in Japan yet. Now, whether they will do or not remains to be seen. Ooh. Urbanized uh, Korea completed. Aha. So we can get 25% more loyalists from standard living increases. Or oh, this is not the end. Urban center building throughput. I think we're going to try get the loyalist. I think the standard living over here is probably going to be increasing at least a little bit. There's almost 6 million pops right there. Almost 3 million, uh, four and a half, six million, and 4.6. Okay. So the population has definitely increased. And the amount of credit that we have is, uh, or we're using, is uh, going down now fairly rapidly. If we get to interest rates of like 20,000 per week, that would be pretty decent. We've now got two tooling workshops being built in the northeast, then another lead mine in our capital, motor industries in the southeast. So overall, our GDP is now, uh, yeah, it's 29 million and is growing. Let's actually have a look at the ledger. 
So in terms of, oh yeah, we've surpassed uh, Japan. Uh, we've got quite a bit of wasted or distance in Belgium, so we're not going to get to the top 10 anytime soon. But it's still improving, and uh, let's see, so we've got 29. Uh, you've got 182 still, so we might be doing a bit of catching up during this uh, war at least. Now we've got 18.4 thousand pounds per week profit, so it might be time to do a bit more construction. So what do we need, I suppose, is the big question. Munitions. I think we're going to go ahead and get a... So this place does have lead mines, but I suppose this one also has lead mines. I'm going to get a munitions plant over here. I suspect it's going to be very handy. It's going to be profitable both for us and for... Well, it's going to help a Heavenly Kingdom fight there was. Or the, well, the market in general, I suppose. Of which uh, Japan is still fairly sizable. We are, okay, we are less than 9% right now since uh, Heavenly Kingdom got its uh, areas back. But we are still the second largest, at least. Oh, and Young Seo is, oh yeah, that's uh, that's climbing up the uh, ranks there fairly quickly. It's not going to be the top one uh, anytime soon, I reckon. But the GDP is, is good. And we're still making money, not massive amounts of money, mind you. But we are making money while constructing. And we're getting some more tooling workshops. So the munitions plant is going to take another 25 weeks. I suspect that that's going to be very profitable. What are we getting in the military? By Oh, we are getting the general stuff. We might actually go ahead and queue that up in case we need to give it assistance there. Shift work, that would increase the economy of scale building level cap by 20. Which is not bad necessarily. Not something that we need desperately. It could be quite handy. In recognition of accomplishments, we'll, we'll boost up the industrialists even further. Which are now the biggest party. And they are not in the government either. Could we... Well, no. We can't really make much better government right now. And there's probably not a lot of laws that we could pass either. Well, laws that we would like to pass. No, not really. Uh, we'll just let it be. There's an extra racial segregation. Uh, hold on a minute. Is that... Oh, that would be going backwards. Nah, we're not going to do that. But there we go. We're about to get another tooling workshop built over here in the northeast. There's a whole lot of construction going on in here. And the tools over here are being used quite a bit. There is still... Well, there's a... Yeah, there's a pretty high demand overall. But we at least got a bit of extra production in here. And I suppose it does reduce the construction cost. Well, I say that. It's still 36,000. So it might not have that much of an impact there right now. There we go. 28.5 million. We did even peak at uh, 29.7 at one point. So I don't know if it's going to be... Ooh. The Russians have taken a decent bit of land back. There's another battle going on in there, but it looks like the Egyptians uh, defending in here are going to be winning. Oh, that's a whole lot of armies in this uh, area. I mean, we're going to have a look at the entire front. Oh, yeah, there's a lot of battles going on. And there's a whole lot of armies. There's 24 armies on the uh, attacker side and 16 armies on the defender side. But if you have a look at the total numbers, can we actually see... Oh, yes. <laughs> Here's a lot of troops there. No, we had one of our generals die. We might want to get another one, just in case. No, that's the admirals. Uh, armies. Oh, yeah, we have no generals there. Um, let's get the armed forces commander. I'll get a second general, just in case. So there we go. Now we've got a pretty good uh, command capacity there. National is going to be done in 7 to 10 weeks. We might... Oh, there we go. Now we're making a bit of cash again. Very nice. And the GDP is still with about 28 million, at least. Once we get the munitions plant, I think that's going to be very profitable. And after that, of course, we've still got the lead mine. Which is going to be built in our capital. Which, to be fair, we haven't done any of the explosives uh, use in here yet. Well, I suppose the coal price is a bit high as well. But this might actually be fairly profitable. It will increase the explosive use, but I suppose if we have a look at the explosive factory over here, it's, well, it's making a profit. We will need a bit more fertilizer, though, so we might need to expand this a bit further. Yeah, we, we can probably give that at another level. Was this all making a profit? A small profit, but a profit nonetheless. How's the war go? Oh. Okay, it looks like the... Or did they? Oh, they already lost. French did a landing, I guess, or something. But regardless, they've taken part of uh, Japan now. Which is a bit concerning, to say the least. I suppose what we should probably do is uh, improve our relations with... No, we're already in pretty good relations with France. All right, then. Well, not much I can do about that, then. Should be getting a pretty good, or we should be getting 10% more authority soon. That might allow us to put one more consumption tax. Would be probably luxury clothing or something as soon as we get that. If we can. Oh, yeah, we can afford it. There we go. So if we put that one in, it's going to be a few more thousand uh, pounds per week. It might hurt the standard of living a little bit. But if we can pay off the loan faster and faster. 
Oh, and we're about to get the ammunition factory, which might not have that massive uh, demand right now then. Well, I mean, it does have a still fairly high price, so yeah, it, it probably will be making a decent bit of money. Now we can put the explosive shell, uh, shells, so that is going to increase the production even further. Uh, do we want to use the rotor valve engine? We could. But I don't know if it's going to be really needed right now. There's still so many people that we could uh, try hiring into the workforce and reduce the peasants because we, I believe we've still got quite a bit of peasants, don't we? Uh, over 3 million. I suppose it's probably easy to have a look at the population here. So peasants make still 53% of the population. So we kind of want to keep as many people employed as possible. Right, so the fertilizer plant in our state over here is underway. We're still making £6,000 profit, even though we're contracting. So that's actually not bad. Is there anything else that we might want to... Well, more fertilizer. Well, that is going to be dealt with soon enough. More engines might not hurt either. And more coal. I suppose coal mines would be fairly profitable in here. So we'll get at least one over there. We could maybe get another motor industry as well. So that's going to keep that area busy. Getting another lead mine. At, oh, we are getting another motor industry already. Well, we can have more. I'm sure that there's plenty of demand in the market. And the ammunition price is still pretty high. Have we gotten the chance to upgrade our troops yet? Mm, no, not yet. We might want to go ahead and build a few more mobile artillery. That was going to get us uh, a little bit higher over there. We'll maybe we'll get another one up here. That's going to get us to four total, and then maybe we'll get one more in our capital. So that would be a total of 35 battalions. Not massive, but at least it's going to make our army slightly better. Even though the increase is really very tiny. Oh, there's an uprising in Japan as well. I don't suppose uh, France would be willing to do any sort of deals with us, would they? Not really. How's Heaven Kingdoms? Uh, they got 167 million GDP, so their GDP did drop quite a bit there. Number three in the world right now. So who is number... Well, number one is Great Britain. British Raj is number two. Oh. All right, then. And they should be part of the British market as well. So the British market is no doubt the biggest one. France is catching up to Heavenly Kingdom as well. And we're slowly... Oh, we've dropped below Dutch uh, East Indies right now. Well, we'll hopefully catch them soon enough. And then we... Oh, North German Federation is a thing now. Oh... Oh, oh, right, yeah, it's an Austrian Federation, but they got the revolution still ongoing there. Oh, that might be a second revolution. But regardless... Oh, booming industry completed. Aha, industrial boom. With the recent expansion of both the production and consumption of explosives in our country, there has been much debate on whether the military or the industry sector should have priority. Um, so fertilizer plants building throughput plus 33%, uh, mines throughput plus 20% for five years, that's actually quite handy. Or munitions plant... I'm going to go with the mines... Because that's going to be more profitable for us in... Well, for the time being right now, I think. Because we've got a whole lot of mines. And we're going to increase the... Oh, yeah, there we go. That was a bit of a peak there in the GDP. Almost back to 28 million. And we are still reducing the debt a decent bit. Although we've still got 4.4 million in there. But we could have 9.1, so it's not too bad. And we are making money, so that's all good. We're getting the general staff now, so that's going to allow us to get the skirmish infantry. And that's something that we will upgrade our infantry to as soon as we can, because we've got the munitions production already. Might as well utilize it. And it's all going into the market right now anyway. Not actually a massive profit, but is it some... Oh, aha, we got a new king. And now we may need to do a bit of a change on the government. I think clergy and industrialists are going to be in power. There we go, that's going to start giving us a bit higher legitimacy, means a bit more loyalists, which might start reducing the radical numbers a little bit further. They might not. But hopefully we can start turning that around. Now we're making 14 tal- Ooh, we need to start reducing the taxes though. Um, remove at least these two to make the deficit slightly less. Is the liquor price- Okay. If we remove that one as well, we're going to lose a bit of money, but we at least have some authority available. So is our ruler- Oh, our ruler is quite young. And that is inactive. Oh, there's a revolution. Oh, right, okay. So we lost the connection with the trade route there. I suppose we might want to do a bit more trade routes, though. Uh, tools are still something that we might want to... Well, we can buy some from the French market, I suppose. Might reduce some of the price locally, but that's all right. Fertilizer would need a whole lot. Um, we could probably buy from the French market. And then explosives. Or maybe we can try selling some liquor elsewhere. Oh, we can sell to the French market. Right, I suspect that we're going to need a bit more ports at that point. Go ahead and build another port in our capital. 
It's already two out of eight, but we can get a bit higher in there. So we've got some coal mines, some barracks. Oh, right, we've got the motor industries as well. But the fertilizer plant over here is... Oh! Industrialists petition the government to pass oligarchy. Oh. Uh, oh, Ottoman Empire. Oh, right. Hold cross border investment. Um. Oh, was it, I'm going to anger the industrialists a little bit just because I want to get more taxes myself. So there's a revolution. Ottomans had decided to side with the Heavenly Kingdom in here. Dynam is also leaning. All right then. Well, we're making two point six thousand pounds per week for still profit. It's not a lot, but at least it is a profit, so it is still reducing the debt very, very slowly. So we're below four point four million at least. We're about to get another motor industry done, which engine price is massive right now. We need to get a lot more production on that, which is a good idea probably that we are indeed making more motor industries now to be fair until we get the electric engines we can't really make more engines as such we can maybe make it to uh, use a bit less population but i don't think population shortage is a thing in any of our states really oh there's still a whole lot of peasants everywhere so we're fine on that one what other journal entries do we have to worry about so there's they expanded the market uh, we need to be in control and yeah we don't have that yet but technically speaking, it might be switching to our market if we get high enough in there, but I don't think it's going to happen yet. Uh, government petition, right, there's the, from farms to factories, so less than 35% are peasants. A munitions industry, we need to have a level 5 uh, munitions plant. Oh, now we might want to build up a little bit more of the munitions plant, I suppose. May not be a massive profit right now, but I'm sure that that is something that we can then maybe start exporting. For example, I'm sure that that is going to be pretty good profitability there. Literary rate is slowly improving. We are actually climbing on the ranking there. I believe we were like 140 before. So at least the literary rate is improving. Uh, the GDP is not all that great yet. Standard of living hasn't really increased too much yet either. Now to be fair for that, if we were to get some more um, government administration. Let's see. For example, Yang Ho could get another one. So the idea is that... Oh, discover rubber in West Borneo. All right then. So the idea is that if we were to increase the social security a little bit, that would probably improve the standard of living a bit further. Because there's also the health system and a few other things that we could probably improve a bit further as well. So that's to keep in, something to keep in mind. Uh, we're getting another tobacco plantation done, then another tooling workshop. Oh, Great Britain is damaging relations. Um, okay. I can uh, probably go ahead and improve relations with them instead. No, that's, oh, that's a Ceylon uprising. Um... They're probably going to... Oh, no, I can't do that yet. They are belligerent. So they want to conquer some land from me, I reckon. And I can't allow that. So it's a good thing that we are increasing the military size, I suppose. We still need to get the general staff research, which is hopefully going to be done soon. After that, we might actually go ahead and get the shell guns. And that does remind me, we may need to get the artillery found right in here. We don't have any yet. We don't have a massive demand for artillery either. We'll get one regardless. And now making £4,000 per week again. We're almost back to 29 million GDP. Oh, we are number 10 worldwide. Oh, hold on a minute. Yeah, we've surpassed Spain. We're still below Belgium quite a bit. Oh, oh does Spain... Ha oh, Spain probably has a revolution or something, don't they? No, they don't. Oh, okay. So they've just dropped quite a bit for some reason. It's best not to question it, I suppose. So, three to five weeks for the general start, and then we can start upgrading our infantry to be skirmish infantry. At least It's still not going to be all that great, but we can at least get, uh, you know, somewhat of a formidable uh, military. It's uh, not really giving us a lot of power projection yet. It's currently only 30 that we're getting from it. But we maybe get that to like 35 or something with the skirmish infantry. And of course, we will be training a bit more troops. We've been with the 30 battalions, or well, 32 battalions, uh, now for a long, long while, so it's... Oh, it's 1900s already. Oh, turn of the century. Oh, there we go, General Staff. Let's go to the army and go ahead and upgrade these into skirmish infantry. I suppose the contrips as well. We don't have any contrips to be fair, but we'll upgrade those as well. So that might increase the amount of um, power protection. Probably not too much, though. Oh, yeah, it is increasing. And we are the leading producer of uh, clippers and man -o wars right now. I suppose everyone else has already switched to the steamship, so that's probably one of the reasons. But there we go, less than 4.3 million in credit. So we're slowly getting more in there. Uh, did we get the extra? No, we didn't get the extra university in here yet. Let's do that, shall we? So we can keep on constructing. We're pretty much at full speed. 
And we've got quite a bit of things that are being queued up to be fair, but the GDP, I'm pretty sure we're going to hit the 29 million soon. How's uh, Heavenly Kingdom doing though? They're back to 171. So they are slowly recovering. They're number two in the worldwide again. And North German Federation, I think they are going to be... Oh, right, they took a lot of land over there, so they must have won the war that we're fighting against the French. What about uh, America? How is that looking like? South America is... Well, there's a little bit of colonizing from Argentina. Otherwise, there's... Oh! Great prison sting in Panama. All right, then. Mexico's having a bit of a revolt there. And... United uh, Scientific Associations. Hold on a minute. Why is this, then? Technit. Chief Engineer... Oh. oh. All right, then. So they got a republic still. Uh, they still have legacy slavery. So they haven't done much about that one. Uh, I don't suppose the companies, so there is... We can't support any companies. Oh, I don't know why that is. It might be that we don't have enough uh, things available. Or something, I don't know. But there we go, back to 29 million GDP. And now we're getting some of the barracks built, so a bit more artillery. We'll get the port over here in our capital as well to get some more convoys available. Because I suspect that we've got, well, we've got quite a few trade routes. Some of them are actually making pretty good profit as well. Uh, let's have a look at, is there anything else that we might want to, for example, export? Uh, there's a bit of iron glass, but there's not really so selling all that well. Tobacco, let's have a look. Is anyone willing to buy? French market would be actually quite handy. Some fine Korean tobacco. Well, I mean, there's also other areas that are growing tobacco in our market, but we can sell a decent bit, I reckon. And the bureaucracy, I mean, it's not a massive amount. How's the tax way still? Uh, it's still 36,000, which means it's about a 34% total. So that is quite significant. But there's uh, one of the barracks already built. That's a total of five barracks there. Of which I believe two are... Um, yeah, two mobile artillery and three skirmish infantry. How's the military... So we're getting 37 prestige from military already. So that is slowly improving. We've got fairly good influence there. Available. So is there any... Relation improvements that we could do? Yeah. There's actually plenty of them. Get those started. And we're getting some more textile mills. Oh, and diplomatic expel. Well, I'm kind of new to expect that, to be fair. I guess we can improve relations with Spain in the meanwhile, then. I'm pretty sure that if we get attacked, uh, Heavenly Kingdom will probably help us. But whether they'll be enough to do much or not, I don't know. Another thing that I suppose I should do is improve our fleet a little bit. It's right now fairly tiny. We'll probably get a few more. We'll just get a few more frigates over there. Get to like five frigates, then we maybe get some capital ships later on. We'll start getting a bit of a fleet, even if it's very tiny. We do need to start preparing for potential wars from the Europeans. Now that the French are right in uh, here, it's only a matter of time before the British do. Now we started working. Oh, right, another agitator exile. Let's actually have a look at the exile agitators. Oh, that's industrialist. Um, we'll not start our joint political movement. All right then. Homesteading? Now that could be quite handy. We've still got the tenant farmer, so yeah, if we could get the homesteading, we'll invite you. And then, can we... No, that's uh, the wrong tab. Um, so land reform. Homesteading, it doesn't have support yet, but might have one soon enough. And I definitely want to get rid of the... Oh, there we go. Now there's a pretty good support for it already. 36%. Rule for intelligence support. Oh, but that's going to radicalize. Okay, there's commercial agriculture as well. With that, we need to have mutual funds. We'd at least reduce the landowner's uh, power even further. I guess we'll need to wait on that one. Because, well, I suppose, technically speaking, the landowners are no longer in power. So, in theory, we might be able to afford this. It will still radicalize them, which might cause some issues. Maybe we'll wait a little bit longer. Get a bit more support in there so we can get through that a bit faster once the time comes. So, now we're getting the port. Then it's got to be another level of the munitions plant. The government administration, then the artillery foundry. Some university, or one university, a few naval bases. So we've gotten up to 35 battalions at least. And our prestige from army is 39. It's not a lot. We definitely need to get a lot more navy as well. Just to make our nation a bit more formidable. Like, a, if we want to stay at peace, we need to prepare for war, as the saying goes. We're almost at 30 million GDP. How is Heavenly Kingdom looking like right now? Well, they got 173, so they haven't really grown that much since the previous wars that they've had. Which is actually good for us, means that we've got a bit more time to catch up, or at least try to catch up. Of course, they've got a massive population in comparison. But if we do have a look at these states, we've got the fourth uh, largest uh, GDP in uh, one state. And we are now 
9% of the total market. I mean, we're definitely growing. We don't have a rise. The second one is the northeastern state. Or is that actually? Yeah, it is the northeastern. And that's going to grow quite a bit before it's going to be in the top 10 or anything. But like, if I can have half the old... Well, let's say half my states within the top 10, that would already be quite nice. Or if I can be all five states in the top 10, that'd be even better. But that might be a bit too difficult to achieve. We haven't got, managed to get the standard of living back to 9.8. They might actually be slightly better standard of living in some of these areas. That's 10.2, 10.3, 9.9. So 9.5 and 9.2 over here in the south. Those are the ones that are probably costing us the most. And is there anything else that we could do with the... Improving some of the profitability? Probably not too much. I suspect that... Oh yeah, there's a lot of unemployed in here. So that's a problem. I mean, the population has been increasing a lot in the south. We've got the barracks at least in here, so that's good. The shipyard is not really making a lot of profit. Did we switch all the shipyards already into that production? No, we didn't. Uh, we'll just go ahead and increase the sh uh, clipper price even... Or reduce the clipper price actually even further. We've got four arms industries. That's already pretty decent. Now we're getting the ammunition... Factory hopefully soon enough there, or munitions plant soon enough there. Uh, we are still making money, although we've still got more than 4 million in debt. Um, we're getting another silk plantation by the looks of it, and a paper mill, more explosives. Okay, yeah, that's that's good. And then the naval bases, uh, the university and all that. We've got quite a bit of things underway. How's the world looking like right now? So, Germany has not formed yet. Uh, Egypt has lost, uh, well, a bit of land there. I suppose it might be the Suez Canal time soon enough. At least they're probably trying. I don't know if they're going to be opening that anytime soon. What about Panama? Has that been built? And uh, no. Not yet, at least. I don't know if they started working on it or not. Not as far as I can tell. Right, but I do see that we are actually out of time for this episode. So if you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe if you haven't already. Also, got the links down below in the description. But other than that, thank you very much for watching. And until next time, bye bye.